Hello and welcome to the Zimmer Group. Today, Jakob Zimmer, the product manager for Global Accessories, is standing next to me. And we are talking about the new flexible tool changer FWR. Jakob, how does the tool changer work and what are the special features? Mm -hmm. The tool changer works only with the movement of the robot. Um, in the loose part, we have these two sliders. Mm -hmm. And um, is the loose part in the storage station, these uh, sliders are pushed together. And as soon as the robot um, pulls the loose part out of the storage station, these sliders are moving outwards because of the spring, and this will lock the um, tool changer. Mm -hmm. So it's exactly like our mesh ecosystem. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. Um, for a longer lifetime service, we produced all of our um, loaded parts out of hardened steel. Um, so the locking and the pre-sampling pins. And yeah, since the tool changer um, works with the movement by the robot, it doesn't require additional energy and uh, we don't need to control the tool changer. Mm -hmm. But to ensure that the um, loose part is locked, we have the possibilities um, for sensing um, in the fixed part and as well in the storage station. And as you said, it's like the match ecosystem. Could you explain to me the difference between the two genders? Mm -hmm. The match ecosystem has the same mechanics mm -hmm. and we decided to do another series because locking is easy but also brilliant. So um, the advantages of match is that we have the totally finished loose parts. Um, the signal transmission is internal because we know all of our products very well and we need uh, know what we need uh, for signals. But um, if you want to take another tool, then uh, yeah, we, we doesn't know what signals the customer wants to transmit. Mm -hmm. So we need a modular, um, yeah, modular system for the signals. And that's why we um, want to use our existing energy elements. Mm -hmm. And yeah, with this product, we combined the locking from match with the open system of our classical tool changer. And can you show me the energy elements we're talking about? Yes, of course. Um, we can always mount two energy elements on mm -hmm. the tool changer. And because we have the air feed through and also the vacuum feed through integrated in the, in the housing, uh, in, the, in combination with uh, two energy elements, it's already sufficient for many applications. Mm -hmm. For example, we have this um, pneumatic gripper and the excess compensation module. And um, for, the, for, en for the energy, we can use the air feed through for both um, modules. And for the signals, for the piston positioning sensing, we only need to uh, use one energy element and we can um, connect the sensing directly on the energy element. And what is the other element for? Uh, this energy element is only for covering the fixed part. Mm -hmm. And um, this fixed part we need because uh, we have the pneumatic intelligent gripper and the collision protection. And uh, for the collision protection, we have the same energy element for the signal. And uh, for the gripper, we need the I-Link energy element and we can use this element for every other I-Link component from Zimmer. Because I already did it by myself, with Matt it's possible to change it by hand. Is it always possible with this tool changer? Yes, of course. I will show you. Um, as you see, we decided to do all connections uh, on only one side. So the energy elements and also the um, pneumatic connection. Mm -hmm. So here's enough space for, for uh, the hand for changing manually. And um, we have a special feature. Um, if you only want to change automat automatically mm -hmm. um, and maybe you have uh, heavy tools or sharp edged tools, you can uh, block the locking uh, for manual usage. Mm -hmm. And um, only if you drive in the storage station, this uh, blockade will disappear and you can change with the storage station. Thank you, Jakob, for your introduction of our new flexible tool changer FWR. You're welcome. And if you 
want to get more information, you can visit us at the Automatica in Munich or visit our website.